In this video, we will continue answering the technical interview questions. If you have any question, you can ask it in the comments section, and we will try to answer it in the next videos. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. The first question we have here is, draw a block diagram for a dual UPS. Well, UPS or uninterruptible power supply is used to ensure delivering stable power supply for critical loads. Here we have the main AC supply that will be connected to a converter that will convert it into a DC source. Here we will connect the output of converter to a battery bank to charge the batteries. Then we will connect the DC supply here to an inverter to convert DC into AC again to supply our critical load. Copy all what we did to have another UPS and we will connect the two battery banks together using a breaker. We have also a static switch that handle delivering power from the two UPS to the critical load. Also, this static switch can transfer the switches to get power directly from a bypass line in case of malfunctioning in the two UPS. In normal condition, the power comes from the main AC supplies through the converter, then inverter to the critical load. In case of a sudden shutdown, the charged batteries will start to supply the critical loads for a time until the main power returns. The second question here is, state the cooling methods used for oil transformers. Here we have ONAN, oil natural air natural. The oil moves naturally on the radiators and the air flow naturally through the radiators to cool down the oil without any interference. Another type is ONAF, oil natural air forced. Here we force air using fans to flow through the radiators to cool down the transformer. OFAN, oil forced air natural. Here we force oil using motor pumps to flow through the radiators. And we don't have here fans, so the air will move naturally. OFAF, oil forced air forced. Here we force oil using motor pumps to flow through the radiators alongside the fans to force the air. At last, we have two other types, which is ONWF, oil natural water forced, and OFWF, oil forced water forced. In this type, water is circulated through copper tubes, which enhance the cooling of transformer. Fantastic! We have another question. What is power factor and how we can improve it? Power factor is the ratio between active power measured in kilowatt to the apparent or total power measured in kilovolt ampere. Here we measure how much useful power which is active power in our circuit according to the total power because we have a wasted power which is the reactive power measured in kilovolt ampere reactive. So power factor is a factor from 0 to 1. As we come closer to 1, this means that most of the total power is useful power. We can improve power factor using capacitor banks, which decrease the reactive power. For more illustration, you can watch the video about power factor in the description down below. What are the types of low voltage circuit breakers? Well, three main types of circuit breakers are used as low voltage circuit breakers. Miniature circuit breaker, which is rated up to 125 amps. Multi case circuit breaker, and at last, power air circuit breaker. What are the conditions of parallel operation of two transformers? Multiple transformers are said to be in a parallel operation when the primary windings are connected together and connected to a common voltage supply. Also, the secondary windings are connected together to a common load. The first condition here is transformers must have the same voltage ratio and turnage ratio, then same per unit impedance and X over R ratio. 
same polarity, same frequency, same vector group, same phase sequence, and at last, identical position of tap changer. Let's walk through another question. What is CT and VT? VT stands for voltage transformer or potential transformer. CT stands for current transformer. VT and CT are used for the transformation of voltage and current from a higher value to a lower value. So we can use it in the measurement and protection purposes. The last question we have here, can we apply a DC voltage to a power transformer? The answer is absolutely no. Transformer works on Faraday's law of induction. The current must change with time. But if DC is applied, the transformer will not transfer power to the secondary winding, and the DC supply will see the primary winding as a resistive load, and tons of current will flow through the resistive load. That will cause overheating and burning to the transformer. In the next video, we will learn the meaning of overload and short circuit protection used in protecting electrical equipment. Please feel free to check the resources down below. Also, you can ask any question to be answered in the next videos. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.